For some time now, American TV shows and films have been full of British actors playing American. The other way round, not so much. Of course, it's not unheard of for Americans to play British roles and impressively. But my favourite example comes from exactly 40 years ago, when it was far less common. And believe it or not, the movie in question didn't even contain any British characters. Gorky Park was a 1980s bestseller about a Russian policeman investigating murders in Soviet-era Moscow. The book was by American Martin Cruz Smith, but the film version was written and directed by Brits, the eminent TV dramatist Dennis Potter and Michael Apted. The story has two major American characters, but all the others are Russians, and the, I think, clever decision was made to have them played by Brits. Except that the leading role was played by the late William Hurt, a big star and Academy Award winner of the 1980s, and of course, American. He was a soldier. He knew about manoeuvres. He knew about strategy and tactics. Consistent with the film's plan, Hurt used a British accent. When I saw the film for the first time, this amazed me for two reasons. One, that he did the British accent at all, rare enough at the time. But more impressive, he didn't fall into the usual trap of sounding very posh. Before we listen to some clips, here's a trivia question. Which other American involved in this film also spoke more or less with a British accent. I'll give the answer at the end. So here is William Hurt doing a good, basic job of SSB. He's non-rhotic, pronouncing R only before a vowel. She was murdered. The girl wearing your skates. In Gorky Park. You didn't know they were missing for four days? Take care of her for me. And the quicker I can do that, the safer we'll all feel. And he uses bath broadening. It does seem like a KGB case after all. And he generally avoids American tea flapping. Shot down and mutilated. And he uses the short lot vowel, oh, that general American lacks. Or a foreigner. A significant non-posh feature of William Hurt's accent here is his goat vowel. Americans sometimes seem to think that Brits generally use a front quality. No. No. But that's long sounded out of date here. Somebody with fists made of stone. So do I. Also, his fleece vowel is diphthongal, E. It's not the pure E of posh old RP. A man like me. Me. If you look online for discussion of Hertz accent, there are quite a few negative comments, I suspect mainly from Americans, and I wonder if to some extent this is precisely because the accent isn't exaggerated. So, are there any telltale American features in his accent? Well, he doesn't use intrusive R. There's vodka in our bellies, we're feeling good. I am just a militia investigator. An Englishman might have said vodka in our bellies, or militia investigator. But intrusive R is by no means obligatory in SSB. Also, as you heard in the last clip, he sometimes uses T voicing. Investigator. Investigator. But so do I, so do most SSB speakers, and so does one of the Scottish actors who feature in the film. No face. Sliced right off. He's momentarily rhotic here. You're a whore. His L's tend to be a bit dark and dental. We leave the paths for a secluded place. His thought vowel is a bit open a couple of times. You knew all three of them. All three of them. And this line is a bit shaky, but he does get the SSB back by the end of the sentence. Actually reported them missing on February the 4th, but you said you'd lost them on January 31st. To me, the most curious thing about William Hurt's speech in this film is a tendency to avoid weak forms and especially contractions. I always wanted to meet. I moved for the indictment. I was arrested. It is likely they're laying a trap. I am just a militia investigator. It is my only virtue. This certainly isn't a British thing. As I explain in my other videos, it's more characteristic of non-native speech. Perhaps the actor was trying to make the character placeless rather than English. Nonetheless, this is still my favourite English accent by an American. So my trivia question, who is the other Gorky Park American with a strangely British accent? The brilliant Hollywood composer James Horner, who went on to write the best-selling score ever, was an American born in Los Angeles. 
So why did he sound like this? That to me is what will sell the story of the Titanic and the people on board. In my line of work, I don't own any of the music when I'm done. You can't do that because you don't own the creation. Each time out has to be a completely um, clean canvas, as it were. Sometimes he might even put on a funny American accent. And the person you're working for says, yeah, but can you make it a little cuter or can you make it a little happier or can you make it a little... When I first heard him being interviewed, I assumed he was a Brit who'd been living in the US for some years. Not true. Apparently, he spent his early years in London and he attended the Royal College of Music. Clearly, those years left their phonetic mark. What do you think of his accent? And what do you think of William Hurt in Gorky Park 40 years ago? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you next time.